another great option for making more accurate selections with just a couple of extra clicks is the ability to add, subtract, or even intersect two selections. Now we're going to use the rectangular marquee in this example and it will be fairly straightforward rather than ultra precise, but hopefully it will give you an idea of how you can use these techniques not only with the marquee tools, but also with the lasso tools, which we'll talk about in the next chapter. And also you can use add and subtract with things like the magic wand and the quick selection tool. And you can even uh, mix and match. You can start a selection with one tool and then add, subtract, or intersect using a different one to fill in a shape more precisely. But for this example, let's go ahead and zoom in on these windows and uh, we'll start out with a single rectangular selection uh, of this window right here. So I'm just going to take the rectangular marquee and quickly uh, drag it out. And uh, notwithstanding the fact here that because of the camera angle, none of these windows are actually perfectly rectangular. But for the sake of example, this should work pretty well. So what often happens is uh, when you quickly make a selection, you may include pixels uh, that you don't really intend to. So there's an easy way to remove them uh, without undoing the selection and then redoing the selection. And that is the subtract option. So if we look up in the options bar here to the right of our presets, uh, we've got a new selection, add to selection, subtract from selection, and intersect with selection uh, buttons. So you could click any one of these to put the selection tool in that mode. But actually there's an easier way to do it using shortcuts. So what we'll do is place our crosshair uh, outside the boundary of our selection and right on the edge of this beam, uh, which we don't want to include. From here, to use the subtract method, just hold down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on the PC and you can see that a minus sign is now added to our selection cursor. And from here we just click and drag so that the entire area that you do not want to include is sort of uh, enveloped by your new active selection. From there you can just release the mouse or the stylus and it will create uh, a really nice straight edge uh, right on the inside of the glass in this case. So that's how easy it is to subtract something from a selection. How would we go about adding something? Let's say that we wanted to um, add this window over here to the right. Well, we could also use a shortcut. If we place the cursor uh, where we want it and then hold down the shift key, you'll see that we've got uh, a plus sign with our cursor now. And we can again just click and drag and I'll quickly try to include that area in our selection. This isn't actually two selections, it's one uh, with a boundary between it, basically. So if I were to uh, open up any of the image adjustments and just randomly make changes, you can see that it happens uh, for both of the selected areas. So this is all considered one selection. Now, if I were to have done this a different way and just selected all of these windows here in a single pass, and then I later decided that I only wanted uh, this vertical beam included in the selection, we could use the intersect option for that. So to do that, we can hold down Option Shift on the Mac or Alt Shift on the PC. And what we're going to do is just make sure that we're lined up with the beam. And then we're just going to draw a quick selection over it, making sure we hit the edges. And then only the areas that are included in both of these selections that is, their intersection will be included when I pick up the mouse or the stylus. So I'll go ahead and release that. And now you can see that only the beam has been selected. So this is a really great way to quickly uh, map out your selections. And again, you can use different tools and mix and match things. So for example, I could go and take the elliptical marquee here and I could use the option or alt to subtract away the little blue spot here and remove that corner from the selection. So these are a really great way to uh, sort of improve your selection technique and get more accurate results. So I encourage you to find some images like this with uh, different shapes and try different ways of adding and subtracting and intersecting. And you'll find very quickly uh, that you're able to make some really nice selections.